All right, guys, unit eight, lesson four. Students will be able to solve area problems with acute triangles. What's an acute triangle? It's a triangle that has, oops, one second. It's a triangle that has an angle that's smaller than 90 degrees, okay? So if you ever want to see something that's 90 degrees, it looks like a straight line on top of a flat line. This is 90 degrees, okay? Or this way, this is also 90 degrees, all right? Okay, so it says, Tiago and Angela are trying to find the area of the triangle below. Cool. Tiago said that you can find the sum of the area of the two right triangles it looks like it's two triangles, right? One triangle here and another triangle here. And that make up the triangle. And Angela thinks that you can simply use a formula like we used yesterday, A equals one half base height, okay? And it says use the base of 11 feet and a height of four feet. Where'd they get 11 from? They took the base of the entire triangle. Three plus eight gives me 11. It says so was right. Let's try both methods, guys. So I'm going to split this into two, and I'm going to put the left side as Tiago, and I'm going to put the right side as, um, what's her name? Angela. All right, so it looks like Tiago said we can find the sum of the areas of the two triangles. Okay, so I can split this into two triangles. The formula that I will use is, the area equals, well, I need to find the area of one triangle first. So wouldn't it be one half times the base times the height of one triangle plus one half the base and the height of the other triangle? So it looks like this. This triangle plus this triangle. Okay, we know this triangle, the base will be eight, the height will be four for this triangle, the, the height will be four, and the base will be three. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and distinguish the difference. I'm gonna say that the first triangle is, is triangle one. So I'm gonna put B1 and H1, then B2 and H2. So we know which triangle we're finding an area of, okay? So what's given, guys? We don't know the area, but we know that the base of the first triangle is equal to three. The height of the first triangle is equal to four. The base of the second triangle is eight, and the height of the second triangle is the same as the first one, which is four. Now I can use substitution to figure out what's happening here, and let's see who's right. So A equals one half. The base of the first triangle is three. The height is four plus one half, the base of the second one is eight, the height of the second one is four. Now I can just simplify one half times 12 plus one half times 32. What's half of 12? Six. What's half of 32? 16. So the area looks like it's going to be 22 feet squared. Looks complicated, right? It may or may not be, but that's a process that he chose to use. He simply split up the two triangles, found the area of each of them, and added them. Angela says, you can simply use the formula using the base of 11 and a height of four. Let's see what she's talking about. So she's using the normal formula that we came up with yesterday. Now, what are we given? We don't know the area. She's saying that the base will be 11 and the height will be four, okay? Now, how did she get 11? She simply added the two bases, three and eight. So that creates one long base, which is 11. So let's go ahead and start our substitution. One half times 11 times four. One half times 44, and half of 44 is 22. 
So the question is, who's right? It looks like both Tiago and Angela are correct. How do we know that? Both are correct because the methods use different processes to reach the same answer. One method is only shorter than the other. As you can see, Angela did one thing that took less time, but Tiago did something that may be considered more complicated, but also gave us the correct answer. Tiago simply split out the shape into two shapes, and Angela said, let's just combine the basis and figure out the area from there. So both are accurate and we will need to do both today, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to what our conjecture is. <clears throat> so, oops. the area formula for a right triangle applies to acute triangles. Some of you may still wonder what an acute triangle is, a right triangle. You can simply look both of those up on Khan Academy. You can look it up on mathisfun.com. Um, take those websites down and it'll give you give you a great explanation on the difference between those. All right, so let's go ahead and test this conjecture. It says, what is the area of the triangle below? Now, I'm going to do this two different ways. Why? Because later in your packet, they're going to require you to do it in two different ways. So I'm going to call the first one method one. Now, method one is going to be the same thing that Angela did on a previous page which is using the formula A is equal to one half BH, okay? So let's go ahead and figure out what's given. So they want us to find an area and we need the base and the height. So what's the base here? Remember Angela's method was to take the entire base. So I'm simply adding the two bases. Five plus 1.5 is 6.5, so that will be my base of the entire triangle. The height, would a height be 3.4 inches? No, it is not needed because this isn't a height if it's measured sideways. It's not a height, guys. The height is from the base to the top, which gives us three, okay? It's indicated there at three. So do I have everything I need? I sure do. Now I can do my substitution. A is equal to one half. My base is 6.5. My height is three. So A is equal to one half times. You can go ahead and do your side work. It's going to give us 19.5. A is equal to, you're also going to do your side work here, 9.75 inches squared. So we found the area, but we also need to be equipped with the second way of finding the area. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this up and I'm gonna say method two is similar to Tiago's. So method two require us to split up the actual figure above. And what we did was we added the areas of each of those. So it's one and two. I split those into one and two because I'm calling one triangle, triangle one, and I'm calling another triangle, triangle two. So let's go ahead and figure out what's given. We don't know the area. The first base is five inches. The, the first height is three. Now what about the second base? and a second height. One of those stay the same. The second base is 1.5. The second height is three, because the height will stay the same. Okay. Now, for some of you who are having trouble realizing what I'm doing, I'm simply taking the shape above and I'm splitting it into two. 
right where that dotted line is, imagine yourself cutting your piece of paper into that. So I'm taking an area of that triangle and I'm adding it to the area of this triangle, okay? The one thing that stays the same is the height. Only the bases are changing. So when I find an area of this, I add it to the area of that, and I should be able to get this result right here. So let's say, let's do our substitution now. A is equal to one half. The first base is five. All of our information is in this little key right here where it says given. Our height is three. Plus, remember we're adding the other triangles area. The second base is 1.5, and the height is still three. So that becomes A equals one half times, you can do this one in your head, 15 plus one half times, you might have to do this one on paper. I'm going to say it is 4.5, okay? Now I'm not done here. I have to keep going because I have to simplify it. So half of 15, you can call that seven and a half, or you can call it 7.5 plus 2.25. Now, all of this will be done from you by doing side work. You have to make sure you have space to do side work. So A is equal to the sum of these two things, which will give me, after you do your side work, 9.75 inches squared. So we just proved that both methods will work, okay? Now, the reason I'm requiring you to do both is because you will be asked to do both on a few pages. In your partner practice, in your independent practice, and your exit ticket, they're going to require you to do two different methods. So this is exactly what you practice. Does the formula apply to acute triangles? Yes, these two are acute triangles, and the entire thing above is an acute triangle. Okay, so go ahead and get started on your packet.